Oh, it's a new day. Yes, it is. Uh, I've got the whole new day collection here from the WWE Championship collection. We're going to go through every single one in this video, so it's going to be slightly longer than normal. So let's just crack on. Let's do this. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your world famous four time champs and feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. So today we're doing the New Day. They are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Still, uh, they've had massively impressive run as a tag team. First, we're going to have a look at Big E in his box. And uh, once again, we have... Uh, Don't be fooled by the smile. The New Day's Big E is a tank of a man. He definitely is. He has a good old slam as well. Nice book on the back there. A nice thing here. We have his logo as well on the side. Big E. I mean, and other ones in the collection. And it looks really cool. Looks really, really good. Um, let's bring in Kofi. So let's have a look at Kofi. Who has held the WWE Championship as well. As well as other numerous ones. But uh, at the moment, he is uh, one half of the Tag Team Champions with Big E. New Day. So we have a really nice photo. Um, really nice, nice uh, model, I should say, of him. Uh, once again, we have the collection. We've got his... Uh, Logo there, upbeat Kofi Kingston is one of the ultimate daredevil high flyers. Here we go, and WWE champion, he was indeed. Um, and magazine there, should I say, and then we have another bit that says about the magazine. Uh, let's have a look at the last member of New Day. It's Xavier Woods. Uh, at the moment, he's injured. He always used to come out with the trumpet. We've got it here. It is... Um, I'm a bit surprised because it is slightly bent and, and I do, uh, it looks broken, but we'll have a look. We'll get it out and have a look. Uh, at the moment, he's injured, hoping for him to return soon. But uh, you can also catch him on uh, YouTube and Facebook on his Up, Up, Down, Down uh, computer podcast that he does. Xavier Woods there, his nice logo. They're all in the same get up because obviously they're the new day. So let's take a look at the magazines. So here are the three magazines. Uh, we're gonna have a look at Big E first. So before he was Big E, he was called Big E Langston. Oh, I do remember that. Uh, there he is, he's obviously from Tampa. The Big Ending and Midnight Hour are his signature moves. So there he is, obviously making his NXT debut as uh, Langston, Big E Langston. And he won the Intercontinental belt, I do believe, as Biggie Langston as well. Obviously, he's had more success, I think, with the New Day. Uh, we've got some, obviously, pay-per-view highlights down the bottom there. Very good if you've got the uh, WWE Network. Here we are with uh, the New Day. Obviously, numerous tag team titles. So, he has won uh, the SmackDown tag team title, I think, uh, six times now. Going by that. Uh, Raw tag team champion twice. NXT uh, champion once and Intercontinental champion as well. The big ending is uh, sort of a, um, a sort of a, a fireman carry body slam, and a midnight hour is uh, their tag team finisher. Just there, so that's cool. Uh, and then you have biggies, besties, and worsties. So we have AJ Lee, Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose. Elijah Wood, um, Xavier Wood, should I say? I don't know why I said Elijah. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, obviously. We know uh, who his besties are and who his worsties are. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, and then the man, the best of the big man. So once again, we have some of his best matches here. 
NXT there when he was in NXT. Uh, Raw and some pay-per-view matches there. Uh, then we have the history of WWE Part 21. The streak. So this is about the uh, Undertaker streak at WrestleMania, which has obviously now been beaten. Nice picture of Biggie on the back. And he's loving it, isn't he? Uh, then we have Xavier Woods. So Xavier Woods. We have the honor roll. Lost in the Woods. Midnight Hour. Because Midnight Hour is their tag team finisher, remember? So effectively they should have that. NXT debut down the bottom here. Uh, and some other highlights that he's had. Obviously pay-per-view highlights with the New Day down the bottom. Uh, obviously he's famously coming out with a with a trumpet as you can see there it's always normally blowing that he has been a tag team champion once we're all tag team champion once uh smackdown tag team champion uh four like i said now i think it's uh five or six times now the honor roll one of his finishes and a limit break which is there which is nice and then we've got woods's Warriors are truth the Usos, Aiden English, Kofi and Big E there as well. So that just goes on about uh, rivalry and stuff like that. Woods is winners, so this is uh, where um, Xavier won. Just here, smack down there in the bar. Uh, and then part 19, shake it up. The Rocks return sent shockwaves through WWE, but they hadn't seen anything yet. And that was that. Uh, there's a nice picture on the back there. Uh, and then we come on to Kofi Kingston. He's now just called Kofi. His actual name is Kofi Kingston there. He's got an impressive title win. Uh, impressive title list, should I say. And it, obviously he didn't debut in NXT. There was no NXT when he was in WWE. It, he debuted on ECW, believe it or not. Uh, there he is on the pay-per-view uh, highlights down the bottom as well. This is sort of, like I said, his evolution from him starting in ECW all the way through to uh, the New Day. Like I said, his title reigns are very impressive. WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion four times, US Champion three times, Raw Tag Team Champion four times, SmackDown Tag Team Champion, I think that's four or five times now, and Weld, uh, Weld Tag Team Champion once. Uh, Trouble in Paradise, which is like um, like a leg kick to the head there. He's just giving it to Daniel Bryan. And the Boom Drop, which is like a leg drop from the top turnbuckle there. Uh, well, from a ladder on that thing. Uh, Kofi's friends and enemies. We've got Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, The Miz, and obviously Xavier and Biggie. Uh, the Best of the Boom. So like I said, this is going through his, uh, his best highlights there as well. So, once again, uh, if you have the WWE Network, these are quite handy to go through. And then it says pre PG rated. Uh, this is part of the History 17. So, WWE had the attitude. It had gone extreme. But a new generation of fans beginning to tune in. And it was time for another change. So this is the PG era, which a lot of people have complained about, actually. So, without further ado, I've rabbited on for uh, over five minutes now on these magazines. Let's get them out and take a look. Okay, so there they are out of the packaging they're all in the new day get up here uh we'll have a took a look at uh biggie first so he's actually really good i like him um obviously on the base you've got biggie down the bottom i love him doing the uh the pointing and the head tilt that's really nice i'm trying to get um a bit of lighting going here so we can uh sort of just brighten it up a little bit so you can see his uh his face there uh, the paint apps really well, really done well. Uh, it looks like him as well. Loving the new day jacket he's got on. Like I said, the 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 paint app on these are really really nice. Uh, and sometimes I've seen I've seen some really bad ones um, from Eagle Moss over the past. There we go. I really like that. I really like that. It's really, that's cool. There we go. You can actually see him a little bit better now. I love him. The point and the head tilt looks really cool. Uh, Kofi, um, 
I don't know. It's just something about the head on this. It just doesn't look... I don't know. It's just something about... I think it might be because of the... Uh, the beard. I mean, it looks like his chin pokes right out and uh, his moustache, but once again, I think the paint app application on these are really good. Really bright colours as you would. Loving the uh, the trainers down here with the little wings on, which is what they have. Which is really nice. Um, it's just the head sculpt. Um, I don't know, it just, it just looks a little bit off. I don't know whether that's just me, but anyway, it looks okay, but I think it could have been better considering we've had uh, better on it. But it looks okay. We've got his uh, ponytails here and his beard. So now we're going to have a look at Elijah. Now I did say that his trombone was slightly bent, as you can see here, uh, and it is broken as well. But you can really, you can't really see. But it's just there the break so be really careful i think it doesn't come straight anyway i don't want to bend it out of uh shape um he does look like xavier it's really cool uh paint app as well really good um new day on the back now i'm just gonna try and see if i can unblur that that's it just there like i said the paint apps on these are really nice and it does actually look like him as well, which is good. I'm going to try and zoom up. There we go. And you can see the paint up on this is really, really nice. It's just the, uh, the Kofi one that I think lets it down slightly with the head. I'm just going to... There we go. Like I said, the paint apps on these are really nice. As well. One more look at Biggie. There we go. I mean, that. He's. I think he's the best one out of the three. If you're looking just to pick up the one, I think he's the best one to, uh, to pick up. Uh, anyway, that is uh, it from us here at the Nexus. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you at the next video.